Brianna Randall Handfasts, which is marriage, with Roger Wakefield after he follows her back in time on the latest episode, called Wilmington, on Outlander. The newlyweds take part in a steamy romp, with the daughter of Claire and Jamie Fraser losing her virginity to her new husband. However the lovebirds get into an argument about him withholding information regarding her mother dying in a fire, and when he asks her if she wants him to leave, she doesn't stop him. After he leaves, presumably back to the future, Brianna heads to the pub and is attacked and raped by Stephen Bonnet after she tries to buy her mother's ring from him. Is she alive? It's bad luck to wear jewelry of the dead Brianna asked Bonnet when he held her mom, Claire Fraser's ring. He reveals that her mother is alive and well last time they saw each other. They head to a room to speak on the ring and he grabs her and slaps her face before dragging her and ripping her clothes off and raping her. She screams somebody help me and the patrons of the pub all still keep gambling as she is heard screaming and crying. Afterwards, she is bleeding from her face. If you find your mother, give her my regards, he said to her as she left. Just hours earlier, she reunites with Roger, after he comes back in time, 1769 North Carolina, to protect her. What are you doing here? She tells him that wasn't the plan. She reveals she would have told him but she didn't know where they stood after their last talk but that she loved him. She is hesitate to get intimate with him because they are not engaged and that seems to be important to Roger. He says he wants all of her or none at all. Well then you have all of me, she said. Roger looks shocked, as he says you'll marry me? She nods yes with a big smile. He tells her they should hand fast, which when they make a promise for a year and a day to get married. She agrees. They complete it and become man and wife. They seal it with a kiss and the newlyweds have a night of passion. Afterwards, Bree and Roger talk about their experience as a newly married couple. I don't think I've ever been so happy, she said to Roger. Brianna and Roger are lounging around after their intimate moment. They talk about the smudged date on Claire and Jamie's obituary and she asks him how he knows about the smudged date. She gets angry that he knew about the obituary and did not tell her about her parents. Roger said that they can't decide who lives and dies. Brianna angrily says, that was my decision to make. I would have never have done that to you Roger. How dare you take the choice away from me. I didn't want to break your heart. But she says no you wanted me to be happy so I'd marry you. He then tells her now that they are man and wife he should listen to her which didn't sit well with her. Brianna angrily tells him she didn't ask him to come. He asks her if that's what she wants, for him to return to the stones. Roger says she's asking like a child and maybe this marriage was a mistake. If you really believe that then you should go, she told him. Roger asks her to look him in the eye and say it if that's what she really wants. No one is stopping you, Brianna said. Meanwhile Jamie and Claire head to a play together. Claire sets eyes on Colonel George Washington at the play and wants to meet him. As Martha and George Washington went inside for the play, Claire tells Jamie, George Washington will be perhaps the most famous American to ever live. What does he do to gain such notoriety? Jamie asked. Well he's the man that wins the war against the British. And he will be the first leader of this country but he won't be a king he'll be called a president. Elected by the people, she tells Jamie. Jamie later runs out that the governor wants to arrest insurgents as they try and rob a carriage filled with British soldiers. There is a spy who told him the insurgents' plans. He has Claire keep the governor distracted as she performs emergency surgery on a man with a hernia. Claire impresses the governor with her skills as a surgeon as she fixes his intestines and stitches him up. I see now why your husband says he can't live without you in the wilderness, the governor tells Claire after he says he believes she saved the man's life. 